All right then. Uh, a while back, I bought myself a, uh, uh, a tractor, and I needed a subsoiler, so I bought this one from Try to Supply. Unfortunately, it's a subcompact, and this subsoiler was just too tall to hook to my three-point hitch. So what I did was I cut out. Four inches from the main shaft and I I uh, put a I chamfered the uh, two ends pointy put them together with some clamps and a few multi-pass welds put it back together before I cleaned it up and painted it, I welded on a couple of chain hooks on it, one for pulling and one for, like this one here, I can use for pulling stumps straight directly up, and this one is just basically pulling logs or whatever out of the woods. Um, so like I said, I bought this subsoil to try to supply. It can normally dig down to 22 inches. Well, I had to take four inches off so it would clear the ground because my tractor is a sub subcompact, so it's a little on the short side. So anyways, this is the finished product. All painted up. I couldn't get exact paint match, so I painted the whole thing. Some Rust-Oleum rattle, rattle can stuff, you know. I did improve on a lot of the welds that came from the factory on this thing because they were really iffy. So I ground them out and redid them um, using my Hobart 210 MVP, wonderful welder, and some 035 flux core wire. But anyways, this thing works great now on my tractor. Took a little customizing, but all in all, it's a uh, real helpful tool. Um, I wasn't that careful with the spray paint, didn't really care. It's a tool, a lot of paint's going to wear off after a couple of uses anyways, but there are my hooks. And uh, got those baby on. On there, good. Yeah, I'm not a professional welder. I'm just a garage wannabe. But I haven't had a weld fail on me yet, so can't cry there. But there's where I cut it and pieced it together. And there's the piece that came out of there. It's three-quarter inch thick. So what I did was I beveled, brought it to a point on both ends, and then filled it in with welding. And that's about it. But yeah, uh, you can make these work on your subcompact, whether it be a Kubota, Coyote, John Deere, whatever, what have you. You just have to shorten it so you can have some ground clearance. Otherwise, it's just not going to mount. At least uh, it didn't on mine. Uh, it was just too tall. Hated to lose that four inches, but what can you do? That's about it. Um... So yeah, you buy these over at the uh, tractor supply. I think I paid 165 for it. I can't remember for sure. And uh, the hooks were probably four dollars a piece. Got those mail order. Um, they are weld on hooks, so you don't have to cut them up or anything like that. Just they're already beveled and ready to go. Uh, that's about it. So if you're looking for a subsoiler for your subcompact tractor and you happen to have a welder or a friend with a welder, you can, uh, you can do this too. That's all. Have a good day.